Hey guys, it's me again. Sorry if the background noise is a little bit loud. My mom's with the TV on downstairs. Can't do anything about that. Um, so earlier I reviewed Ultra Pro versus Dragon Shield. And I said I was going to wait about a week, maybe a month, do a follow up review. I was sleeving my cards because I hadn't sleeved them yet. And what I've done is I have sleeved one of my decks with Ultra Pro, brand new and one of my decks was Dragon Shield, brand new. And I double sleeved both decks, and I can already see a difference. Here is a double sleeved card using the Dragon Shield. Kind of glary, but it's clear. And I'll prove it. Here's the sleeve inside. You can see it. So it's clear. You can see the card really well. It's really great. Now hang on, let me show you the Ultra Pro. Might take me a minute. I have to get my deck out. <laughs> Wasn't prepared. Silly me. Um, this one is also double sleeved. And it's cloudy. And it kind of looks like it's been mm, covered in fog. I don't think you can really tell the difference on camera, but in person, the Ultra Pro, Ultra Pro is really cloudy with the double sleeving. So if you double sleeve, double sleeve, sorry, I can't talk tonight. <laughs> if you double sleeve your cards, I definitely suggest the Dragon Shield. They are tougher, they feel tougher, and just all around much better for double sleeving. If you single sleeve, the Ultra Pro are more flimsy, so they do split. They tend to split a lot more, and I haven't experimented with it yet, but I'm going to. As of right now, the Ultra Pros do feel a lot less sturdy. So I really do think that Dragon Shield is best either way, but it matters a lot if you double sleeve. Uh, so that's my first follow-up review on Dragon Shield vs. Ultra Pro, and I'll be doing another one probably on Friday after I upload an unboxing. If not on Friday, then on Saturday, depending on work. <laughs> so I will see you guys then.